Hey guys, it's Ashley with AMJ Tutorials. Have questions or specific questions that you have or things that you want to learn, shoot them in the comments and I'll make a video about it. It's sometimes hard for me to think of things to come up with to show you guys. So if you have any um, suggestions, yes, please list them in the comments. I'm going to make the Lululemon logo. And before I start out, this is for personal personal use only not for sale this is for my personal use I don't sell these I don't advise you to sell these this is just this is just personal use only okay so what I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop on to Google and I typed in lululemon logo you can go up here and click on the images and you can see that this lululemon is the one that I want I'm going to right click it and click copy image. I'm going to go back into my Inkscape. I'm going to right click it and paste it. Okay, and then I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to minus that on the keyboard just to zoom it out. Okay, so my image is selected. You can see that the dotted line and the arrows, my image is selected. We're going to go up to the top and click trace path and trace bitmap okay and then you're, you're gonna your screen right here on the right is gonna pop up and we're going to single scan is selected we're going to select multicolor and we're going to drop down in the drop box and, box and click colors and I if you've watched my previous videos this has one color so you always add another scan to it depending on your color. So this has eight, we're gonna do two because it's a one color image. If it's black and white image, you're always going to do two. If it has pink, red, and yellow, that's three colors, you're gonna scan four, okay? So for this one, we're scanning two, we're removing the background, and we're going to apply. Okay, we're going to drag this over and we're going to select this image and again we can see that this one's easy to see but again to know sometimes it's odd if you look down here on at the bottom it'll say image and then when you click on this one it'll say path we always want to delete the image one and I'm just going to press the delete button on my keyboard so here's our path and I'm gonna um, make it smaller. So I'm going to hold Control Shift on my keyboard and then click that arrow with my mouse and bring it in. And that just holds its dimensions. Okay, and I hit the number three on my keyboard to zoom in. And then my plus and minus to zoom in and out. Okay, so here is the logo and you can notice that it is transparent with the little lemon tag. Let's lock in our dimensions and I'm gonna say it's about 1.2 centimeters. So we're gonna go up here on the top right here in our measurement box and we're going to click that drop down. It's probably on pixels maybe, but we're gonna go up and we're gonna put it on centimeters to make the width 1.2. and the height 1.2. I will go through and save that. I'm going to press Control Shift E on our keyboard and it's gonna pop here, pop up on the bottom right um, our export, how we're going to export this image. Look in this box right here and you can see my image right here in the, the top left corner. Well, we want to make sure that we select the image and that we see the whole image in that box before we save it. Okay, and then this little thing right, this little folder that you see, this is going to tell you where you're going to save it at. So if you have a specific folder that you want to save in, you can always click that folder and we can save it. And I'm just going to save it in documents. And I'm just going to say Lululemon. And then we're going to save as type as a 
plain SVG. And we're going to save that. And then we will click the export button. So if anybody is interested in seeing it put into Cricut and how we cut it, keep watching. If we're gonna go into our Cricut, we're gonna go up here in the top right and click new project. We're gonna go down here on the um, left hand side and click upload. And then we're going to upload an image and we're going to browse. And I saved it in our documents and I named it Lulu Lemon. And I'm going to open. I'm going to upload it and we're going to click on our image. We're going to, down here at the bottom right, we're going to click Add to Canvas. At the bottom left, you can make that a little smaller. This is in inches. What we can do is we had it in 1.2, we're gonna go back to Inkscape. We had it in 1.2 centimeters. Let's change that to inches and it converted it to 0. 0.472. Okay, so let's go back into Cricut and type in 0. 0.472. And now we're going to make, we are cutting this out of HTV heated transferred, transferred vinyl. This image doesn't really matter, but when you do an iron on or HTV, you're going to make sure that you mirror it. You can see if you click that little eye, it says turn on mirror for iron on projects and materials that are placed face down like leather. And then you're going to continue. And it does see it, number one, base material set to iron on. And it says make sure mirror is turned on and iron on material is face shiny side down. Okay guys, so now we're getting ready to cut it. Here is our scuba. It's the half sift. Got this at TJ Maxx, I think for $16. And our placement is gonna go right here. Silver HTV vinyl. And it says shiny side down. And you can see, it's easier to see in person, but this is our shiny side. So we're gonna place it down. I need a new mat. Here we're going to press. Then when it's ready, it will flash and we're going to click it. Okay, so we got our inch out and we're going to beat it. It's so tiny. And I'm gonna get a little horseshoe. Okay, I positioned my sweatshirt on to the heat press, and then I used a piece of Teflon to put um, over top of it to protect my uh, piece of clothing. And then my heat press is set to 315, and I'm going to let that set. 15 seconds. And as you can see, it's on there. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Happy creating.